search for inside and what may have caused the deadly crash. Sarah. Well, Paula, I spoke with a local pilot and flight instructor with decades of experience under his belt, and he gave me a quick course on what goes on inside the cockpit in the crucial moments before the plane touches the ground. Rather than a smooth landing, the Asiana Boeing 777 jetliner crashed into the runway at San Francisco Airport Saturday. Oh my God, oh it's an accident. You can see the emergency chutes inflate, passengers sliding down them, racing to get away from the plane. Now investigators are trying to figure out why. We want to understand experience, how those two crew members are working together in the cockpit. What really is important is that this was a training flight, meaning he was being supervised by another pilot who should have recognized that this was a bad situation that was getting worse. Maxwell Rosenberg is the owner of Santa Barbara Aviation. He's been flying and teaching other pilots since the 1980s. He says airliners have become highly automated over the years. Extremely simple in some ways, as long as the automation works very complicated when the systems quit working. He showed me what that system looks like and how it works, basically running the plane all by itself. The reliance on automation is, is allowing less and less experienced pilots to be flying more and more sophisticated and larger airplanes. But when it really comes down to it and you have a tough issue like landing the airplane that last two minutes of flight, that's where you really have to be a pilot. And having the skill set of a lot of experience will make a big difference. The San Francisco airport is undergoing construction. Some visual and electronic aids were unavailable on the runway at the time of the crash. So it just really boiled down to this person having to look out the window and judge whether they're high or low and land the airplane. And apparently, you know, got it all wrong. Very wrong. The plane came in too slow at the wrong angle and hit the runway tail first. There was certainly some automation that was lacking on this particular flight, but it wasn't an excuse to wreck an airplane. And Rosenberg says despite this tragedy, commercial air, uh, commercial uh, flight is still the safest mode of transportation. In Santa Barbara, Sarah Bush, News Channel 3.